Hi besties, it's Bear again, and today I wanted to yap a bit and give you a recap on Genshin Impact's 4.5 livestream and everything that'll be in the patch once it launches on March 12th. I do have a handy dandy little list, so let's get started. Starting off with our main quest for the patch, Blades Weaving Betwixt Brocade, we're introduced to our five-star character for this patch, Chiori. For a second time, if you happen to miss her during the patch 4.3 event of Roses and Muskets. This quest looks to revolve around Chiori's business as a fashion designer within Fontaine and possible conflict between her clients and her competitors. Um, we also get a short clip of what I can only assume is the inside of a warehouse in Fontaine, but it's not mentioned or seen again throughout the livestream. It looks like we'll be traveling quite a bit between Fontaine and Mondstadt, as it seems there are a handful of events that will take place at the Cat's Tale. At the very beginning of the 4.5 trailer, we're shown the Alchemical Ascension event, in which Mondstadt's alchemical industry is booming and has led to the invention of what I can only refer to as Teyvat's version of monster energy. From walking on all that rough terrain, it's like it was never there! With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single um, during the Alchemical Ascension event, we'll receive an event weapon, the Dialogues of Desert Sage's Polearm, and its respective weapon ascension materials, Exalted Earth. Um, do keep in mind that you won't be able to obtain event weapons and their ascension materials once the event is gone, so make sure to grab them. The next event that takes place in Mondstadt is the Fiendline Fortress Fergacy event, in which you select a cat to play with and feed, and you're able to build them a cozy corner in the cafe. There are multiple ways to design the space, but there are three major aspects that you need to take into consideration while designing. Those three aspects are comfort, durability, and aesthetics. All very important things, if you ask me. Moving back to Fontaine for a bit, we're introduced to the Rolling Crossfire event, where an individual known as the Genius Inventor of the Guards has developed a remote turret or cannon um, that needs testing, and who better to do it than us? In the event, we'll be using the turret to target and destroy as many slimes as possible within the time limit. This next event might look a little familiar to you with its initial appearance in Patch 3.0, and a rerun with a twist in patch 3.7. The great phase reaction debate brings the return of the phase trials. While in combat, you'll accumulate phase force after defeating enemies, and once it reaches its maximum limit, we'll be able to enter time dilation mode, which will temporarily freeze time. During this updated version of the phase trials event, we will automatically enter time dilation mode when using our elemental skills and not moving afterwards, so you can take as many screenies and photos as you like in the moment. And lastly, the fifth event, and honestly, the one I'm always most excited for every time it rolls around, is Leyline Overflow, in which every day for the entirety of the event, we'll have three chances of obtaining double rewards at either a Blessing of Wealth, which rewards Mora, or a Blessing of Revelation, which rewards character XP materials. Moving on to the meat and potatoes of the patch are our character banners. In part 1 of patch 4.5, we'll be seeing the previously mentioned Chiori as our new 5-star character, alongside Arataki Ito for his third rerun. And of course, with new characters, we also get new weapons. Hoyoverse hasn't released stat information quite yet on Chiori's signature weapon, but considering it looks to be part of the Redhorn Stone Thresher line, I feel it's safe to say the main stat would be crit damage percent. And in part 2 of patch 4.5, we'll be seeing Nuvelet with his first rerun and Kazaha with his third rerun as well. The 4 stars for both parts of 4.5 have not yet been revealed, so you'll have to keep an eye on Genshin's social media or Hoyo Lab for that info. Alongside Chiori's release as a playable character, we'll also be able to play part 1 of her story quest once patch 4.5 launches, as well as Lynette's hangout event where we'll receive a gadget called the Fatometer after completing. Um, not much info was said about this specific item, just the fact that you can use it to pull a numbered card out of a hat, kind of similar to rolling dice. A new banner type will also be released during patch 4.5, titled the Chronicled Wish. From reading the article on Hoyo Lab, it looks like a banner type that will allow you to wish for certain limited characters and weapons. You can choose whether you want to pull for 5-star weapons or 5-star characters, and will be guaranteed the designated character or weapon you choose after losing one 50-50 and obtaining one fate point. Similar to both of our current standard and limited banners, the maximum pity is 90, and you'll receive both 4-star characters and 3 to 4-star weapons as we pull. Pity from this banner does carry over onto the next, however, fate points do not carry over. 
In, for example, in 4.5's Chronicle of Wish banner, you have the option of choosing any of these characters or weapons as your designated item. If you were to select, say, Albedo as your designated item, but the 5 star you pulled was Klee, um, you're guaranteed to get Albedo as your next 5 star. It's important to note that Fate Points don't carry over and only characters who have featured on the limited banner a minimum of three times will be featured on the Chronicle of Wish banner, so any limited character that has had at least two reruns. Um, and from Hoyover's words at the end of the article, it doesn't look like the Chronicle of Wish will be featured every banner or every patch, uh, but rather a very ominous and vague time to time. Honestly, I avoid uh, TCG like the plague, so I'm probably not the best person to talk about this, um, but we are getting new cards again. Um, Sis and Mage, Nuvolet, Charlotte, and Kirara are all now joining the roster and will be available to add to your deck in patch 4.5. There are also two quality of life changes that will be happening alongside patch 4.5 and that is the training guide um, which will provide suggestions on how to build your characters based on real-time data Hoyo versus collecting from recently active players. Um, this looks to be a great tool for more casual players of Genshin that aren't really super into meta or research on external sources like YouTube or game with um, for build advice. The second quality of life update is a simple UI change that actually like quite a lot, um, we'll now be able to level up and view characters' talents without having to click through multiple windows to do so. Um, it's honestly not a big deal that we have to do so, but it's nice to have that little shortcut. It's not a huge quality of life update, but one I didn't know I wanted. Moving on to content that's outside of the game, we'll finally be receiving the OST for Chenyu Vale on YouTube and various music streaming platforms. I am an absolute sucker for Genshin music, as I'm sure many of you are as well, uh, but the Chenyu Vale OST has been some of my favorite music since the early patches of Genshin. It was extremely nostalgic and comforting to me, so I can't wait to be able to listen to it on my own time and not just AFK in the game. Um, shockingly, Genshin Impact is also collaborating with the Discovery Channel. Not much info has been released about this collaboration, and by not much, I mean no information has been released about this collaboration, except that Kave will be the face of the collab, I guess? Um, which explains why he was gone for nine months, and definitely not any other reason. And with that, that's everything you need to know about Genshin Impact's 4.5 update that will be coming to us in the next week and a half. Um, are you going to pull for Chiori? Are there any events that stood out to you the most? Let me know what you're most excited about, and I'll see you guys soon!